Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Wednesday, January 27th, 2009. Well, the markets are slowly fading again today, much like yesterday. We saw that early move up yesterday only to fade late in the day. Today, the markets faded really from the start and have kind of just hovered along the lows of the day. Now, by no means are the markets down a lot on the day, but you are seeing some under-pressure stocks out there. We see Goldman Sachs continuing to be under pressure. We'll bring up that chart, although I have to say an entry here underneath 150 does look attractive in the short term for a possible swing trade. And along the lines, you also have ExxonMobil under more pressure today, down about 75 cents. However, the $65 level does look attractive as well for a long trade, sort of for a short-term swing trade. Now, a couple other stocks in the news today or that are getting pounded. U.S. Steel continues to be a drop zone candidate here. Now, the key with U.S. Steel, if you're looking at the daily chart, what you are seeing is a cliff fall right here. Target is looking like it's very near, though. You do have a lot of support right in this range, anywhere from this point right here at around $44 all the way to about $45.25, $45 $45.50. Again, it looks like a possible bounce off that. If you get through $44, you are going to go straight down to the 200 moving average, which is at $41.60. This area, though, again, in current terms, looks like a decent possibility for a bounce. Now, let's get back to the market. I just want to cover a few things because you do have some volatility here in the markets of good trading nature. If you're looking at the intraday 10-minute, again, you can see we gapped uh, really up just a tiny bit on the spiders here. You had a very minor gap up on the spiders and then really sold almost immediately. You gapped really was almost a flat open right here, and then you just started to cascade to the downside pretty nicely. Once you got down to around this 108.60 level, you then started to bounce up. You got a little bit of a buy program to hit on financials right here. You can see the results in the spiders. And from that point on, it went sideways and lower until we're at the current levels right now. Now, right now, you have a very good area of support right here at 108.65. 108.65 is a very good level of support on the SPY. If you take that out, you're going to head to 108. 108 is a very, very important level on the SPY as well. And again, those that are premium members know exactly what is going on there. Now, a couple other stocks in the news. JASO, again, to look at the chart on this JASO, I called out last Friday a buying opportunity on JASO right here at around $4.60. It bounced all the way to my target yesterday at $5.02. At that point, we took the money off the table, and now it's all the way back down here and looking like a possibility for an entry. It's not ready to be an entry yet, but it is getting somewhat attractive in the market here. So again, we'll follow it closely and see where we come into the close if it's worthy of a trade. And again, a lot of little trades posting up here. These are all short-term, short, short, short-term swing trades with decent probabilities of success out there that are looking very, very attractive. All right, guys. Again, going back to the SPY, the market, again, this is the daily chart. Again, I will not go over this daily chart, although it's a very important chart right now for premium members. That is scheduled for premium member discussion tonight in the nightly video. We will cover this in depth. And again, premium members out there, if you're part of the group out there that are premium subscribers to the Research Center, you know exactly what that daily chart is showing us, what we're into right around these areas, and what you need to be aware of going forward. All right. Now, again, here's your consolidation. Look at this, folks. Very interesting. Here's a consolidation move. You basically have this upper line right here and this lower line here, and you just were bouncing up and down inside of it, and then finally broke down intraday here on the 60-minute chart below this level of support. As I said, your next level of support, if you get continued down below 108.50, will be a tag of 108 even number, even as high as 107.79, I believe, 107.85. Somewhere in that range is a very key gap fill that will be extremely good support. Spiders, again, folks, are only down 50 cents, but it's just, again, that continuation on the down move in the market that we've seen of late. Now, today at 2.15, and 15 minutes from now, you will have the FOMC policy statement. Watch that chart, folks. It's going to be a key one for the markets. Whatever the FOMC comes out, the Federal Reserve, it's going to directly influence the markets. You're going to see some good volatility, either a drop on the markets or a spike on the markets. And again, tonight is the State of the Union address by President Obama. I think the markets are holding their breath a little bit ahead of that. And again, coming into some decent support ahead of that could yield a possibility of a little bit of a bounce tomorrow if that does not kind of blow up in anyone's face, meaning that if Obama doesn't say anything, that the markets are not a, a liking to that effect. Again, Obama lately has come out against the banks. A lot of comments have been against the banks. Geithner has been on Capitol Hill today testifying about the AIG nonsense that went on with the bailouts. There's been a lot of negative press towards the banks these days. And again, the market is a little uh, kind of skittish on those remarks. Keep an eye on that, folks. It's going to be a big deal. 2.15 today, then tonight. Also watch that. Have a wonderful rest of the day, folks. We will talk to you all very soon. Take care.